guys, we are talking today all about how to track your macros and your food when you're going on this ketogenic diet. Now listen, do I know everything in the world about this? No, but I know what has worked for me and I know what has shown me results and um, I know what I've researched and what I've listened to on podcasts and watched YouTube videos and read articles and listened to videos of doctors talking about it and um, I'm just really excited to share it with you guys. So we're making a video because so many of you have asked questions that it is so much easier to just put it all in one place and then if there's anything I haven't addressed at the end, feel free in the comments to go ahead and ask away. So the first thing I wanna tell you is that before any food or anything like that, um, I take a really good multivitamin, so you need to be taking a multivitamin. Um, I also personally take magnesium because it helps with my electrolytes. And um, I also um, have always just been taking extra um, biotin vitamins, and you know, like the hair, skin, and nails. So that is what I take. Um, that's it, I don't take any other pills or anything like that. I know some of you guys are doing electrolyte tablets right now. Um, I will say those are great. I use pink Himalayan salt on like all of my food. And I did purchase the magnesium to see if it would help with headaches, and so far it has. So I'm sticking with it and um, it's making me feel really great. So you definitely want to look into the multivitamin. Please, please, please be taking a good multivitamin, especially when you're first learning how to eat like this. It can be really easy to not get your micronutrients, which are all those like great little vitamins and nutrients and things that you need, okay? Because we're kind of so in the beginning focused on the ratios of the food that we're eating that we're worried about the macros and we ignore that. So get a very, very good multivitamin, okay? Um, now, I want to show you guys the app that I use to track everything. It's called Carb Manager. I have an iPhone. Um, I'm going to get into it for you. I don't know. I'm assuming it's also on like Google and Android and all that kind of stuff, but I do have an iPhone, so I know it's on iOS. So that's what I use. Um, it looks like. Let's see if I can show you. Okay, do you see Carb Manager right there? See the C and the M? That is Carb Manager. Um, go ahead and download that. You can download it for free. Um, there is a free trial. I do now pay for the premium membership. I think I paid for three months at a time or something like that. You don't have to do that. I did that because it was working so well for me that I wanted to stick with it and I'm able to actually go in and put in my own recipes and stuff. So it, and then it, I just tell them what's in my, what's in my recipe and it figures out all the science-y stuff and I don't have to do it, which is great. Um, so that's that. I will say in the very, very beginning, I also kept a journal. I want to show it to you guys. I had a journal and what I would do in order to be successful, I did this for three weeks straight. Every night before I went to sleep, I planned out my food intake for the next day. I would sit here and I would write down what the date was going to be. Um, show you an example. Okay. See it, but I would write down the date, I would write down what my current weight was, I would write down what my goal was just to keep it in front of me. I would write down, you know, meal one, meal two, meal three, and I would plan them out. And sometimes meal one was just a bulletproof coffee in the morning or coffee with keto cream. Um, and that might have been my only meal for meal one. And but then I would plan out meal two, meal three. I would think about what am I drinking my ketones. I would think about in the very beginning, I even planned out a snack, and then I realized that I was so full I didn't need it anymore. So I started cutting that out. Um, I would write notes about, hey, I had to work out of a coffee shop today, and that was really hard. So the next time I work out of the coffee shop, I know it's hard, and I'm going to plan my day differently. So I'm not um, in a situation where I'm not in control of the things that I'm eating. If you plan out your food the night before, you will be so much more successful and you won't be stressful. You'll wake up already knowing what you're gonna do. You already you can take stuff to work with you. Um, if you work at home or if you're a stay-at-home parent, um, you know exactly what's in the fridge that you're gonna do. You know what you're doing for dinner. Um, I would plan, I know what nights of the week I'm out of the house and I would know, okay, well that night, um, I'm not making a full dinner for everybody so I need to eat before I leave the house. Um, all those types of things, okay? You will be so much more successful if you plan your food, and especially
especially in the beginning, it'll help you learn how to eat a ketogenic diet. Google ketogenic diet, you will find so much information, um, so many awesome recipes, okay? And they're gonna show you things that you can eat and you're gonna feel so satisfied and not like you're missing anything, which is awesome. One of the things I did when I would write down what I was doing the night before was I would enter it into the carb manager app. I would enter it into the app for the next day because it would show me where I was lining up. So I will show you on my app right here, and I'm gonna have a screenshot too inserted into the video so you guys can see better. Um, so for example, today so far I've had breakfast with a Bulletproof coffee, and then for lunch, um, I, ate, I wasn't even hungry until three o'clock, so I had my Bulletproof coffee in the morning, went about, did some work, did things I had to do, went to the gym, um, came back, was hungry, so I ate, and um, made kind of like a taco without the shell. So it was like ground beef and cheese and jalapenos, sour cream, some avocado on the side. It was delicious and it was a lot of food and it made me very full and I couldn't possibly think right now about eating anything else. Um, however, I enter it all into the app. Then I can come down here and this pie chart tells me the red is the fat, the blue is the protein, and the green are the carbs for the day. You want to goal yourself, for most people, between 70 and 75% fat for your day, 20% protein, you need to try to not go over that protein. And it's also okay if your fat is a little bit high. If your fat's on 80, that's okay. And your carbs should be no higher than 10%. When you get to the app, you're gonna enter in things about yourself, gender, age, height, weight, things like that, um, that you wanna do um, track your macros, do a ketogenic diet, things like that. It'll ask you questions and it'll tell you how many carbs you should have for a day. So it'll track too on this little bar how far you've gone. I've only had um, five grams of carbs today and they came from my sour cream and avocado, some cheese, and I was able to input my ketones. You can find your ketones on there too and put it under supplement, which is really cool. And you can track your exercise. I don't really do that because I do like light weight lifting and stuff and you can't, it's hard to track that. So I don't really care about that part. But if you're running and doing other things, go ahead and track it. Um, so it'll tell you. And if you hit this in-depth button up here, it'll tell you how you've been with your carbs, that's the green, for the entire week. It'll tell you when, what days you were high, what days you were low, if you went over your carbs or if you've kind of been underneath. It'll tell you for um, the day your actual percentages. So sometimes it's hard to just look at the shape of the pie chart, um, but it'll tell you. So right now my carbs are at 2%, my fat is at 78, and my protein is at 19. So I'm really happy with where I am right now today before I've even thought about dinner. And dinner, um, I'll probably, I'm eating dinner by myself tonight. John has to go out, so I'm just gonna do something light and small because I'm seriously not hungry at all. Um, so I'm going to insert a picture for you guys to see. There's a desktop version, so you can have the app on your phone, and you can actually also go to carbmanager.com, and you can find it on your desktop, log in with the same username and password, and get a big screen and see it. So I'm going to show you guys that now. So what's really cool about all of that is that you're able to go through and click. And what's awesome, a lot of you guys have wanted to see what I'm eating, my management, how I'm tracking things. You can actually go to the community tab in Carb Manager and you can invite friends and become friends with people. So um, if you know me personally, you can go ahead and search me by my email address. And then you can actually go back through my days and see what I've been eating and I would gladly share that with you guys and you can go ahead and see um, kind of just what an average day looks like for me now. Um, so that's a lot of fun as well. That's how I track all my food. You can actually also go in and custom make recipes. So if you know um, that you're making your own low carb marinara sauce, you can go ahead and put all the ingredients in and then see how it tracks out. Um, I created my own recipe for my Bulletproof coffee in the app. I also created my own recipe for a green bean casserole, just green bean with um, green beans with some different cheeses mixed all together, bake it with cheese and bacon on top. It's amazing. That's in there too. Um, so it, it figures out all of that for you, which is awesome. I am also on Pinterest. 
and you can buy a board called Keto and I just drop in a lot of recipes that I find in there and I've made a lot of them so far. The wings in there are great. I made chocolate peanut butter fat bombs. Fat bombs um, are almost like a little snack that you can make if you need extra fat in your day. You can say, oh, okay, you know, I wanted something sweet after dinner. I need to up my fat a little bit. I'm gonna eat this fat bomb. And it's delicious. Um, seriously, you wanna go to the Pinterest board and go check out that recipe because it is wonderful. Um, so that is how I track everything. In the very beginning, ask questions. Ask me questions, ask your promoter questions. Um, go ahead and look up recipes on Pinterest, on Google. You can find shopping lists of what to shop and what to go buy. I'm gonna post another video uh, for the next time I go to Costco and shop right